For me, teaching is an absolute privilege. Prior to joining the university, I worked across consulting, law, entrepreneurial ventures, and in finance. But none of those roles were as meaningful as teaching is. The opportunity to engage and work with wonderful young people and help them on their respective learning and life journeys is an honor and a responsibility I don't take lightly. I'm very focused on striving to create an active learning environment where students are engaged, participative, and ultimately thinking deeply about important questions. Through this process, I hope students become more curious and purposeful about their own learning and how it connects to their lives in a meaningful way, what some people refer to as transformational learning. As educators, I feel we have a collective responsibility to not only ensure informational learning is occurring in the classroom, but also transformational learning, because that is what will impact our students in the long run. I want students to think of learning as more than just an exam, but ultimately how they live life. Accomplishing such learning is not always easy, especially recently. From protest to pandemic, classroom learning has of course been impacted considerably the last year or so. During this period, as I've thought about my students' learning experience, I've developed a deep conviction that teaching is also about leading. In fact, teachers are leaders. I believe the events of the last year have demonstrated to all of us that universities are not immune from volatility and our classrooms are no longer static environments. Teachers need to develop leadership agility to navigate such volatile environments. Leadership agility compels teachers to constantly reflect, seek opportunities to enhance their teaching craft, and listen more intently to the needs of their students. Now, I'm still striving to develop more leadership agility as part of my own teaching. All that said, I have found teaching to be an incredibly rewarding, yet humbling experience that causes constant reflection. I frequently wonder about impact in student learning. Whenever I reflect on teaching, in my mind's eye, I think of my own children, who in roughly 15 years will likely be university students themselves, and the age of my current students now. So in its most simplest form, my passion for teaching and supporting students is to be the type of teacher that I hope my children have when they are in university. I'd also like to take a moment to extend my deep appreciation to the UGC for all of their support for teaching and learning that occurs at universities in Hong Kong. I'm very honored to be considered for this wonderful award. Thank you.